Yeah, I, I thought um, first the, the team, the effort, you know, on a back-to-back, -back, um, the energy, um, just the no stress um, that we, um, you know, I thought we, we took out on the court tonight. Um, everybody, the ball's moving, shots, um, guys are tired, but cheering for each other and just understanding um, down a guy with Luca out, we, um, I thought we stayed together. You bring up the last minute. We've been in some close games and we've lost um, on doing different things that, you know, uh, don't win games. And I thought that group did a really good job of um, staying the course. Um, the free throw miss, we, we get lucky um, there. Um, they come up with the loose ball and there's just the time runs out. But I thought, you know, everybody made plays. I thought Spencer was big for us off the bench. I thought our bench was big. Gaff was big. Um, PJ. Um, playing through PJ tonight, um, his second game back, and uh, we're pulsing him up as much as we could and uh, asking him to do uh, everything on the defensive end, and he was great. And then I thought the leadership of Kai was at a high level tonight. Well, I think just uh, learning from um, the playoffs, um, that there's going to probably be a small that's going to guard him. And so I'm um, looking at getting him going. Um, and I thought going to him right away in the post. And then he has some great looks that didn't go down on the three, but continue to keep being aggressive. And then I thought getting to the free throw line, um, his ability to post and offensive rebound if he missed it, but also it's just playmaking that some of them didn't lead to scores, but just his understanding of being unselfish. And I thought he played the game at a high level tonight for us. It's just one of 82 games. I, I mean, that's what it is. They're the favorite. Um, hopefully, we can meet them in the playoffs if we can get there. That's we got to take one game at a time. Uh, the week last week was tough, yeah, but it was a learning experience. And the wins and losses are always going to be learning experience. Where this is a new group. Um, I thought last week uh, you talk about the Utah game was tough. We lost on the road. It's hard to win in this league. Um, and um, someone brought that up that everyone's watching us. Well, we are a good team, um, but we have to become a team first. And uh, we got new players that are working through that. We're trying to understand each other. Um, we're not guaranteed to, you know, get back to the finals. Um, you know, there's a lot of other teams that are good in this league. So I think um, going through some tough times, um, no one's going to panic. Uh, we come back to play the next game. The energy is high. The effort is high. And you put ourselves in a position to win on the road. And I, I think it just shows the character in that locker room that you can lose or have a tough week and uh, respond quickly with um, two games that, you know, you find a way to win. And now we got another big week uh, with the Cup Series. And so um, a lot of good stuff is happening in Dallas, as much as uh, some will say it's not. Clearly, a lot in the NBA side still matters sometimes. Uh, a little bit. Yeah, the, you know, they're, they're very active and they're, they're, they're a team that doesn't worry about their height. They play hard and um, they're going to compete and they're going to play like this uh, until they can get healthy. And so um, understanding, I, I thought Gaff and D-Live did a great job playing through those guys. Um, I thought being, I thought Kai was patient, didn't force anything. Uh, we got some back doors for him to get some easy ones. Um, but I thought, again, Spencer, Q, Hardy, those guys that can't, you know, um, our role players played extremely well again for us. And um, again, when you're playing a small group, they're going to get the benefit of the whistle sometimes. They're, they're just that they're active. But I thought we took care of the ball and uh, we, we made shots. Um, we're starting to shoot the ball better now. And so that's uh, a step in the right direction. Just a couple times after wins this year, you've really emphasized the good ball movement. What do you kind of define as good ball movement for this team? 
Yeah, I think when you get a lot of people touching it, or in, and a lot of times we can use the word ball movement, and it's really body movement. When we can move bodies and guys are moving offensively, uh, it just makes us that much better. And uh, we saw that last night, and you saw it again tonight. Um, just being able to be physical, set screens. Um, we got, you know, our centers are um, capable of passing, and so being able to get back doors uh, just makes the game easier for everybody. Yeah, I thought Hardy did an incredible job, and I've mentioned this before, is, is he gets us organized, and that gives us a, a, a really good chance of something good happening. That doesn't mean that we're going to make a shot, but just the floor balance. But also gives him the opportunity to see the floor and hit the gaps to be able to not just score but play make. And uh, I think he's worked extremely hard here in the, the last three years, and he's understood the process and trusted the process, and he's reaping uh, the benefits of that right now. And uh, we need him to be able to get us organized. He can score the ball, that's for sure, but he's also showed that he's mature enough to, to get us organized and, and run the offense, and he's doing that at a high level. Yeah, they play hard for 48 minutes. They're always going to play hard. and. They're a really good team, and they executed down the stretch uh, and, and made a game of it. Well, it seems like uh, some of the wings, uh, you know, the Najee, the Quinn Finn, and some of the other players in general have been really aggressive attacking off the catch, especially when they're like trying to send help at the nail. How important is it for you guys to keep the defense honest with those uh, folks? Yeah, we're, we're, we're preaching drive the ball, especially when there's no shot blocker. And so those guys are taking full advantage of that. And we've said this before, when the ball touches the paint, something good happens. Uh, analytics will tell us, um, you guys will tell us that the ball touches the paint, we're going to get something good. Um, and so the more that we turn down that first shot, unless you're wide open and you redrive it, uh, something good is going to take place. No, I, I, I love that he was cheering um, for his guys and cheering for, you know, when guys stepped up and made shots. Uh, and that's just a pro when you're not making shots. You don't have to be selfish. I think he's one of the most unselfish uh, pros. Uh, he's also teaching the younger guys that some nights you might not have it, but you can do things, uh, some other things to help. And the energy I thought he brought of cheering guys on when they were making shots uh, was huge. Thanks.